If you're watching this, let me first say happy Christmas. I hope you had a great day. This will probably go up after Christmas Day. And I wasn't going to, but why not just pick up the camera, go on a full on vlog of like what I eat tomorrow, the lead up to Christmas today, and just the whole yearly 2019 Christmas vlog to have to look back on as well. So yeah, I have no idea how this video is gonna end up. Completely raw mode, but happy Christmas, and let's get started. And of course, you already know, we start off today, oh my God, the traffic is getting busy. Guys, it must be Christmas, but we're at the motherland numero uno. And you can see they are closed tomorrow and Stephen's Day, so we are picking up a few more bits. And if there's one good thing about Christmas, half price veg, 50 cent for like sprouts, parsnips, potatoes, melons. Perfect. As far as the food goes, we've been hella prepared this year. Mama Murray has done a good job, but I'm particularly here for, for the bakery to pick up some final fresh goodies. So donut wise, I think I'm going to pop off at Dunn's later on, but I'm going to pick up some pastries while they're here because we are actually fully stocked and even in the back guys look at that they are baking up some fresh baguettes and croissants so the first one is going to be a nice chocolate pan chocolat that can go in there and then a chocolate croissant as well Boop. and then i think we have to go for one of these icing sweet bun things and i will definitely be having some sort of like leftover baguettes so we're going to go for like three of those i might even have like a nutella one so three baguettes and three pastries and seeing as they are closed on Stephen's Day I'm gonna pick up a whole sleeve of bagels there we go 69 cents for a whole sleeve to probably like snack on on Stephen's Day so that is the pickup and there we go family the sweet treats have been acquired so you know the deal transition through the forehead and my car won't start of course so maybe for Christmas I should get like a Lamborghini but anyway we have the green light on so I'm hoping this is gonna work yes people Christmas Eve back workout about to go down the pre-workout is being consumed link to bulk powders will be down below support your boy out click the link boop, 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 boop. <laughs> So yeah, back day today, but you're all probably asking, Scott, are you going to train tomorrow on Christmas Day and keep up the streak? Well, you're going to have to find out in the video, but it's definitely not going to be in raw because they don't open early enough according to how the parents do all the presents and stuff. So I do have a plan, but it was sort of funny, like two weeks ago, I was sitting down calculating what day it would potentially land on my split. And of course, it has to be leg day. So if I do train tomorrow, it's going to be legs, which is going to be disgusting. But nonetheless, here we go. We're going to smash our back in three, two, one. Yes, people, a very good session, to be honest. I'm actually pretty chuffed with that. But you already know, we finished it off. <laughs> oh my God. Look at this lad here on the Stairmaster with his bloody sandals. What are they, man? I mean, come on. <laughs> Anyway, here we go. You know the deal. Three, two, one. Boom. There we go. We missed 2020. Oh no. So we were going to go for 22, 22. Finito. As always, if you're on the Stairmaster watching this, you're highly saluted. And I haven't shown you yet, but actually Raw have got their own little Christmas tree at the ready. So even color coordinated with the red and white. And underneath, of course, is the Dunn Stores bag. Maybe Santa will bring me a new bag for Christmas. But that is that. And okay, we are in a rush, but we got soda bread this time, and I hope I get this first time. If not, then... Oh, oh my god! Yes! Beautiful! And bish bash bosh! Two soda bread, Cajun chicken sandwiches, some scrambled eggs, and then there is a very empty gap there, so... What better thing to fill it with than, oh my days, it's been so long guys, some Tato cheese and onion crisps, they always come out at Christmas time, but this is literally like a hearty Irish meal, and yes, we do have like an apple for some micros, but yes, a cage and chicken, salt bread sandwich, some scrambled eggs, and some Tato cheese and onion crisps, perfect. Yes, people, like I said, tomorrow I would like the option to have some luxury donuts on the cards, so we are at Dunn's, we walked up here quickly, look at this, the car park is full, there is no way I was driving up here, so I'm hoping they have some good donuts. Holy shit, guys, is it busy in here? Literally, it closed at six today, I think, so everyone is just stocking up. Where are my donuts? Oh, baby, their bakery is also fully stocked. We could have waited, but I wasn't gonna risk it, and this is what we are here for. Yes, family, the Oreo donut is here, and then that one looks real good. I don't know, it's like 
five for four. I don't need five. These are also very tempting. Again, I don't know how overboard I am going to go tomorrow. There's a lot of food, but we are going to go for that one. There we go. Then actually, I think this one, yeah, this one is the Nutella one. I don't know. I think that's got cream in it, but this one is the Nutella. My two favorite ones. Woo! And while I'm here, this caught my eye. You know me and white chocolate. For one year, I think I'm going to go for this Milky Way, like Smarty bar. And look at that family. Absolutely disgusting, but that is the benefit of the express checkouts. We only have two items, so you know the deal. Transition of peace to the hermit room. Casper the ghost checking in, but we are about to wrap the final few presents, so I thought I would just show you. So when it comes to my parents, they literally don't give a shit about materialistic things. They're all about experiences. So for dad, I got two tickets for him and mom, obviously, to go to a rugby match. Then for mom, two tickets again for him and dad to The Sound of Music, her favorite show in the theater. And then together, I actually booked them like a weekend away to like a five-star hotel down in like Arklow or something. But it has actually got like this Italian cookery course included. So that should be fun. And then the other day, you know what? I couldn't resist picking up a Katie and Kevin the card they probably prefer these to the actual gifts themselves but yeah these are just tokens they love the ads so they can just put them by the side of their bed or whatever but you already know we do not wrap our gifts just like this we are the master of disguise so you know what i told you one day i would need all these empty cereal boxes and this is perfect so one two three four five ambish bash bosh i told you cereal will always have your back <laughs> perfect and boom we are out on a quick stroll taking the boxes and look at this house i am very very jealous it's a very very festive house but yes quick pre-dinner stroll santa where are you i'm coming for you <laughs> And boom, we are stocking up the fire. I've burnt myself like five times. But oh God, that's not very good. <laughs> oh no, it's Smokey Joe. <laughs> oh, there we go. We have the tree at the ready. We have a bit of TV on. And boom, while we're here, the turkey prep has begun. Look at the balcoon. What is it? Like a six kilo turkey. Papa Murray has done his job. And we have just taken the funniest of TikTok videos. Right, go follow me on TikTok. Go follow me on TikTok. <laughs> Scott Murray underscore. I will put the video in the next clip. <laughs> And even though I'll show you tomorrow, Mama Murray has been prepping up. We got everything pretty much ready. And she's there in her elf Hello. apron. <laughs> so we have the Brussels sprouts. We have some stuffing. This is a ham, a four kilo ham. Then we have parsnips, pigs in blankets, absolutely lethal. A tongue, some spiced beef, some pro tea. That's potatoes in Irish for you. So yeah, that is gonna be tomorrow's game is to cook everything up nice and fresh. Of course, with the turkey. And we have just bought down the last bit of the presents so like five cereal boxes and this is actually our tree i haven't showed you the tree fully but i did actually record the whole family out in getting this tree so i'll probably include that now in three two one flashback time and here we go flashback we're all set to go oh my god we are starting to decorate the house we're all set to go to get the tree so hit the screen mom boom do you like my woolly hat but here we go we're gonna get a tree and we always literally have a disagreement but we need a minimum of an eight foot mama murray is already scoping out like these ones here are pathetic i am all about these huge ones they don't have a great variety but these ones look pretty decent this is the one we are looking at it looks good look at the size of it nice and fluffy oh, oh treated nicely sure now are you happy with that i think so yeah yeah you like it look at that beautiful <laughs> She's a happy bunny. We have strapped it on with a handy rope and it is just glaring wind. So this actually might take off. And we are officially off the tree on the roof. Whether it survives, I do not know. Dad's in charge of the go-kart. Mama Murray's car. Oh my days. Here we go. We have made it home successfully and look at this family. We have got <laughs> Papa Murray hooked us up with these stars and the Santa Claus lights on our house. There we go, we have like a glitter option. And we have the snowflake on the wall. Oh, that is my favorite. And then the stars and then a nice glow up star there. The tree has officially made it home safely. Thanks be to Jesus. And here we go, we have made it into the house. This is where it has to go. <laughs> And fun fact, every single year we leave like a scrape mark because we end up getting a tree that's too big. And I think this year could probably be the same. It's quite a big one. So here we go. Lift it up. Is it going to do a bit of scrapage action? We have started decorating. Oh, baby. No, no, no. Oh, 
oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, um, um, it's a bit too big, guys. <laughs> we already cut a little bit off the top. Many hours later. Oh my god, guys. This is literally, I think, one of the best ones we've got. It's super bushy on the bottom, and then the top we had to cut a bit off. Look, anyway, we're going to sort this out, and then we're going to decorate it. So you're going to see what it looks like in 3, 2, 1. Yes, people, it's actually a few days later. But nonetheless, this is our final grotto, and the tree came out absolutely perfectly so we have like our advent calendar we fill that up then we have the tinsel all the way around the door then look at this tree super super packed as always we literally just throw on every single decoration we have and we have some chalk lights on there we have like so many lights as well we go for like cherry lights we call them the red ones in the middle then we go for colors on the bottom and on the top and then we have like these white ones that just go up the whole tree there's no star this year because we couldn't get it on you can see we scraped the ceiling so we had to go for a Santa but nonetheless super super happy with that then we have the mantelpiece at the ready a few decorations down here by the fireplace bit of a fail of a fire tonight I believe in Santa a few stockings and up here we just have all of the tinsel and some cards and yeah we're just watching a bit of TV at the moment and again just more tinsel and before some hater chimes in saying oh it's not the picture-perfect tree with the little bubbles shut up okay look I know we just like to plonk everything on and go full on banana mode, but it's literally like the one holiday of the year that our family really, really celebrates. We don't really do Halloween or Easter. We give everything to Christmas and you've seen by the front of the house, we do go a little bit overboard. So that is the grotto ready for Christmas day. And I will check back in with you. I have no idea when, but you will find out through a sick transition through the forehead actually. Here we go. Happy Christmas. It is the 25th bright and early in the morning about eight o'clock and we are running on pure adrenaline, like three and a half hours sleep. I do do not know how I have this much energy but the streak is gonna be continued because we are not at Roy you know that little symbol there though we are at Southside gym they do open a little bit earlier than Roy so we are gonna bang out our legs and here we go we are in with Ben pretty much the only two loners in the whole empty gym on Christmas Day about to work out <laughs> it's cold what are you doing <laughs> Chest. Chest. Oh, chest day. Legs today. But here we go. We're going to smash this in three, two, one. And no, I am not going to wear the Santa hat for the whole workout. Here we go. And here we go. 500 reps. Exactly on the dot. Bagged. Full workout. We'll be down below. And we've jumped into Mr. Dan Viola. Come on, do a sick transition for me. Go on, hit it. No, hit the screen. Oh, shit. Boom! It's Santa time. Oh my god, two sacks for me. Th this is ridiculous. And then we have the mum sack here, and the dad sack is in his dressing gown. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Again, absolutely. <laughs> anyway, we're just gonna open this, okay? And I'll check back in later on. But first, my <laughs> mum's first gift a ukulele. <laughs> And boom, this is what we're working with. We're not even finished. We're going to have to wait because the family are coming over. So we're going to open some more tonight. But so far, very, very good. A dash hound calendar. Look at all the pictures. These are literally perfect. They know I like my dash hound. Then a super fluffy dressing gown. Then I love this. Bro, do you even lift gingerbread? I'm going to literally wear that all year. And then just a whole load of practical gifts. So whey protein, like skinny sauces. They know I like, you know, I don't know, like Cali Cali sauces, burrito balls, selection boxes some panettone this is dad's dingle gin and papa murray has got all his like practical again very practical gifts we have like razors and like shirts and stuff we are three pastries deep and a scoop away protein and then mom over here we have like literally chocolate she just loves chocolate pajamas socks usual christmas stuff and here we go we are on taxi duty the grandparents are on the way you manage yes thank you that's one in you manage there we go. Do you want to say happy Christmas? Oh, that, oh, oh hello, <laughs> happy Christmas. And now hit, hit that little camera there. Just hit it like that. Isn't that nice? Hit it. And boom, we are home, ready to go. Okay, Papa Murray and Mama Murray have done their job. We have some what? Some peas, some bacon, the Brussels sprouts, stuffing, the turkey, this vegetable mix. Very nice, actually. Nice addition. <laughs> Cauliflower, broccoli. Oh, roasties. Yeah, gravy, 
bread sauce. So yeah, look, I'm gonna try to include as much footage of what I eat and just the whole occasion, but we're gonna chill, hit the camera, and let's get a sick montage going. Bye-bye. Okay, family, what is up? I thought I would actually use this time as an opportunity to do a bit of a voiceover. It is Saturday. Saturday evening, sitting in my car, just looking over the footage, and I don't get very deep very often, but I don't know, I just want to chat, so excuse if it cuts off or whatever, this is completely raw, but yeah, I hope you all had a great Christmas, and you know, it's times like these, as corny as this is going to sound, um, that you do really need to take advantage of the time that you have with the people that you truly do love. <laughs> You know, your friends, your family. Um, because you don't know how long they are going to stay around. Um, and I openly admit myself a lot, to be honest. Uh, you know, I'd, I'm not very good on that aspect. <laughs> um, especially when it comes to my parents. I know um, I don't have many friends and stuff like that. But my parents really are like my best friends. And I feel a bit guilty uh, just looking back at the whole year just that I didn't you know or that I haven't really been spending much time you know it's so easy to just get caught up with the work and stuff like that and just focusing on yourself um, but yeah you know um, people aren't going to be around for a while and I can sort of understand now why my parents do prefer experiences to like materialistic things man i'm getting old <laughs> but um yeah it's sort of this christmas hit me in the fields it hit me hard <laughs> that i need to maybe just you know take advantage of a few more moments and just i don't know set a set aside a bit more time for the people in my life mainly my family of course and um, I'm keeping it real, you know, my grandparents, you know, probably could be their last year. Um, you know, they're not in too good form, to be honest. And that's probably one of the reasons I'm doing this. But yeah, anyway, hopefully you had a great Christmas. Uh, I wish you the best of luck in 2020. And again, thank you so, so much for all of the support on any of my platforms. You know, it really does mean so, so much. So I hope you know that. Um, each and every single one of you happy Christmas and I will check back in with you later on and just like that we are back at the Mecca of Dublin happy boxing day we have the night shift later on so we have to be quick but oh my god <laughs> I have extreme leg doms but nonetheless that is probably going to be the end of the video again hopefully you enjoyed it I had a really good time yesterday just spending the time with the fam eating what the hell I wanted finally relaxing it's been a while since I just took time off a little bit from work so yeah hopefully you liked the video again i really do hope you had a great day wish you the best of luck in 2020 and again thank you all for the support nearly at 10,000 subs which just blows my mind so thank you all so so much happy christmas once again happy new year and see you all in the next video Boop.